Ancient Aliens, Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind. Uh, this is a reference to the uh, Spielberg uh, sci-fi movie, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Um, I was really impressed when I've seen it. Thirty years ago, sixty-seven. I just I'm playing the fool. Um, so, they're fighting. Um, so yes, there, 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 there have been some some documentaries on discovery on the History Channel and whatnot uh, about aliens. Uh, because they they um, they have a comeback. <laughs> I mean, I know we we uh, heard uh, about this uh, when I was young. Uh, it's just five years ago. <laughs> um, but somehow um, they brought this into the open. Um, the American Congress had some hearings to see what. What the Air Force has, what CIA and other agencies know about this, what the recordings and so on. France has an agency uh, dedicated to that. And so there are some things which are brought into the open uh, with some reliable sources, some credible testimony. I mean, as I said, recordings, video, well, video, I guess. ah, photograph. Uh, <clears throat> he wants to destroy my slippers so. and well, anything else he can reach, touch. So, um, we have uh, some material to. to uh, look at and think about, as well as plenty, <laughs> much more uh, inventions from crimes, lunatics, and such. Uh, people just would just want to pull a uh, bag and tell you stories, talk tales. Um, but um, uh, well, like. Let me tell you one thing. Uh, maybe I'll check again tonight. For quite a few days uh, in a row, maybe the last day I just forgot to check. Plus, there were some, some, some days, some evenings, because in the evening I can see that with clouds. And those clouds uh, hit height. Uh, these UFOs. Well, actually, there are UFOs to me because they are unidentified flying objects in the sky. And so this thing is just there, on the same spot, and has three lights. Three light bulbs. Somebody has some link. And yes, in most cases, again, as I said, I'm aware of that, um, you have uh, an explanation, uh, such as a satellite, and the satellite will not just stay in the same spot. The balloon, well, anyway, that's... Um, an unknown thing, it's not as if I'm worried, I'll just... So it's a move because the aliens are ready to land on my, uh, on, in my garden here. <laughs> Who knows? In terms of ancient aliens, uh, that has been, of course, uh, for a long time, the uh, explanation for quite a few things. With the pyramids, uh, was those uh, who claim oh, they couldn't do it. Uh, it must have been aliens to put up that at the time when they didn't have cranes and well they demonstrate that they can roll the blocks it's not easy it takes many slaves a lot of work 
thousands and uh, tens of thousands of people moving this and very clever engineering, but they can do it. They did it. Um, then they have those uh, Cusca, I, I don't know, in South America, there are those uh, creations, um, earth art, I don't know how to call it. Um, grandiose it's something something you can only see from from the sky again people have been clever thousands of years ago so clearly some of them so brilliant that they devised thought of Outstanding, incredible things like this one. Now, there is a possibility that they had some some ancient things coming up and then showing them on the corner. It's really, I also tend to think this is really one chance in what a hundred, a thousand, more that this is the explanation. Otherwise. They had a technique and they just used it without being in, in space, in the air. And then also, I mean, it's a chance as compared with the aliens, uh, just a chance in you know, 90 that they did something. They had a balloon which we don't know. And then they, okay, you paint that, you do that. I don't know, I just. Fooling around. So, um, yes, these uh, documentaries, when they're um, well made, when they have good production team, uh, they're worth watching. Indeed, the other day I had a note and I've seen a, a BBC a documentary on aliens. That's as serious as one can get. BBC.